Hey, uh, yesterday was the first night of the Tokyo Dome. Don't tell me no spoilers here. The show's long since over. It's uh, it's 12 hours later. Mm. And uh, we're going to give you some of the notes here. <laughs> I have seen two of these matches. I saw Shibata and Red Narita, which was awesome, where uh, it was supposed to be a submission grappling match. And then uh, Shibata just announced, nah, we're going all out. And uh, they beat the crap out of each other. Although, uh, they did not go anywhere near uh, Shibata's head. Uh, but uh, Shibata was actually the first guy that just stomped on Red Narita in this supposed <laughs> submission match. So uh, he's just decided whatever. Um, the announcers did say that he had gone into business for himself. Which I, I presume is not the case, but, you know. It's Shibata. Are you going to challenge him? Well, you never know. I mean, the, the, the agreement was... You know, he could come back and, and have no one go near his head, no strikes, and just grapple because y'all know he almost died as a result of that uh, headbutt that he gave Okada, the clunking headbutt. But uh, then he just showed up and announced that wasn't what it was going to be. And at that point, what are they going to do, come out and drag the guy out of the ring? Well, so, he did mention in the lead up to this, too, that he can, his head has been, you know, his skull is fully healed and he wanted to make sure that everybody knew that. So there was a tease that he could go full force if he wanted to, but they were taking it slow. But since he's facing off against his, uh, his student Ren Narita, which filthy Tom, if you, you know, had a chance to listen to those shows, which you didn't because you were swimming with Oreo the Orca, but Tom basically said that he felt like it was going to be Narita. The whole thing made sense. He comes out there looking like a baby Shibata and then he had to learn from the master, including, like Brian mentioned, getting smacked in the face right off the bat early and, and getting stomped on by Shibata and bringing, having to bring the fight to a sensei. You know, Mike, what I've learned in the last uh, year or so here is that a lot of folks think they know more than doctors. Oh, yeah? Just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, but anyway, it's a very good match. That. Shibata Did hit you a, talk to any doctors? Hit a penalty kick and... Uh, and pinned him. Did and then you know? the main event was Okada and Shingo. And uh, you'll be stunned to hear that they had an excellent match. 35 minutes, 44 seconds. It'd all be that guy with the hot take, but I sure miss the days when you didn't have to go like 35 or 40 minutes to have a great match. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say this match was too long, but like I knew, I just knew the days of, you know, we're going to have a great match in 24 minutes. I mean, they're over. Uh, you got to go 35. You got to go 40. Oh, you got to go 45. I'll bet you, Mike, 100 Ugh. U.S. dollars. There's no chance that the Okada uh, match tonight uh, for the unified title with Will Ospreay, there's zero chance it goes less than 30 minutes. I'll put $100 in your account tomorrow if it goes less than 30 minutes because there ain't no chance. They don't do that anymore in wrestling. So anyway... Match is great. Wait a second, though. But you're 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 acting as if that's not a tradition at the Tokyo Dome. If you're going to bag on anything, bro, it ain't the shows, Tokyo Dome. My point is any match. They could run this in Cork and Hall. They could they could uh, the start a main I event of the pay per view. I just I, watched. There ain't no oh. such thing as a sub thirty minute main event anymore. It's got to go forty now. Oh. I got too much stuff to watch to tolerate all of this. You know what I could have watched if this hadn't gone thirty five minutes? If What's this that? if this match had gone. 24 minutes, I would have been able to watch Evil and Ishii, which I have been told, impossibly, was a bad Ishii match. So I need to go and watch this one, because I can't believe that you could do that. But it is with Evil, and you know I know they booked those matches, so I guess I'll have to find out. But that's the word on the street, is Ishii had a bad match. <laughs> Well, I got to be honest, I had to skip two matches because I had to fit in Raw, unfortunately, before the show. So guess which ones I skipped, unfortunately? Evil and Ishii. And then the tag match, which I assume was very, very good. Uh, with the I'm not blaming Ishii, you geeks. I'm just saying. That's the word. I didn't think that he could have a bad match. Well, like, you have to default blame the House of Torture. And I haven't seen it yet, so I don't want to pass any judgment. But I have seen enough of evil in this new incarnation with the House of Torture and all of the shenanigans and all of that stuff to know that it most of the time i think it sucks and if you like it that's fantastic but i unfortunately seem to be in the minority or the majority on this so yeah that, that's how that goes but look at least hopefully this is out of the way with the she and they can move him on to something else of more value i one after another here it was bad it was bad bad <laughs> well it was torture this person writes <laughs> it's a house of torture Dick Togo is bad for business. Well, let's not blame well, Dick Togo. Let's not blame If you're Dick mad Togo. about it, you got to blame Ghetto, whoever's putting his this friend. match together. That's his buddy. Yeah. Is it time for regime change in New Japan Pro Wrestling? No. 
It's time for the pandemic to be over. If Listen, I know some people are, are upset about the booking of, of New mm. Japan over the last year or so, but let me tell you something. If, if the pandemic ends, everything opens up, and we have a full year of anybody can come, anybody can go, whatever, blah, 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 and you're still upset with the booking, then we could talk about a regime change. Well, but, uh, hold on this now, has been, I, this has been an, 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 an out-of-character year. It Two is, years. Brian, but it's a fair time, in theory, then to make a change like this. And I'm not like I'm not trying to send Gato out with, you know, throw his bags out and kick him in the ass on the way out the door. I mean, he's done a wonderful job, and it's just unfortunately, even when the fans come back, I mean, the die was kind of cast on Evil and House of Torture and some of the shenanigans that they've been doing with the Bullet Club when there was no... Look, the crowd saved a lot of that stuff and and they made it work and they were all in on a lot of the product. So they, you know, glossed over some of the things that they didn't like, you know, those live crowds, but it sticks out a lot more now some of the failings that they've had and some of the things that they've been doing over and over again since the early days of the Bullet club a lot of the referee things a lot of the the things that they've fallen back on unfortunately have not gone away and with fans they also probably are not going to go away so again i i don't know who the right person would be but i it's one of those things where i hope that they're looking forward on this because a lot of what he's doing unfortunately is getting tired but i will also say this you're right because of the circumstances in the pandemic and because New Japan Strong is so strong right now, you know, I, I ain't fine if you want to give him some extra time, but you can't be surprised that people would say something like that. Well, because of course they're going to say that. They've been saying it for a long I'm time. Sick and I, of the, I'm sick of that stuff, too. But, but, remember yesterday I was talking about the rainbow? Remember the rainbow? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, you know, guess who wasn't in the rainbow? Necro Butcher. Let's look at this Rambo, Mike. This is my whole point. Kosei Fujita, Yuto Nakashima, Ryohei Oiwa, Taka Michinoku, Master Wato. You don't Wato, know those guys. Tenzan, but... Kojima, Duki, Kanemaru, Nagata, Honma, Bad Luck Fale, Hanare, Fujinami, and Togi Makabe. And then, of course, the uh, final guys were Chase Owens, Shima, Minoru Suzuki, and uh, Toru Yano, who are advancing to the king of... But the, the point of this is, you have, you have a very, at this point, I know people are going to maybe argue, but because of the pandemic, your roster is very limited. And so it was the same thing with the G1 this year. What what big outsiders do we have coming into the G1? But Brian, that's that's you have a, to book hold on. Time out, time out, time out. That is because whoa, that's over got and nothing, over again. That's got nothing to do with the pandemic. Yeah, it does. It's got to it's got to do with New Japan's philosophy, Brian. Bro, they when can't it, bring anybody in. They have no foreigners. They have nobody from AEW coming in for any matches. Brian, they never bring anybody in from other promotions. That's one of the things that's pointed out about New Japan because they are relatively an isolated isolationist company that's why people pop so hard when Shima came in even though he's you know been with you know strong hearts or whatever and been on his own anyway it's guys like that where people have been saying for a long time why is chase owens in this match call on shima to come in with the guys call on this person or that person and so that's that's a lot of the issue as well too whereas yeah they're doing the thing with noah and they're going to do a card with all japan but bringing some of those guys in every once in a while which new japan doesn't do they could do that from the native side and spice things up they just choose not to do that this person here says are you telling me new japan needs outsiders to be good no, I'm telling you they need outsiders. No, well, so on. They, if they have outsiders, They're there's a whole them. lot of different things you could do instead of the yeah. exact same top guys in the same matches. It's like watching Raw and SmackDown right now. That's much worse, by the way. But you have a limited roster. How many times have we seen Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar? 5,000 times? How many but, times look, have we seen the Street Profits and the New Day? The match was great. Or not the, the, the New Day and uh, the Usos. Match was great, but I've seen the match... 5,000 times. But what has AEW done that New Japan doesn't? 
opened the doors for everybody to come in, even though they have a loaded up roster, they have still opened the doors for a lot of different promotions from Nick Gage yeah, they to have. Minoru Suzuki to come in, which is something because those people were in America and they could travel there. That's the point. There's a lot All of people, you have to do is Brian, go. There's a lot of people in Japan that could travel as well, too. That Again, that's the whole point of why people were happy to see Shima last night. You could have been using him the whole time instead of using you a using lot of the same the stuff time. over and over, which comes down to the but book or the philosophy and what you do. There's dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people that they will be able to use when there's no longer a two-week quarantine to get into the country. Like, all of a sudden, uh, dude, by the way, where's Dom? We got to go to a break, Dom. Yeah, I was going to say, we're I'll be right back, here. Wrestling Observer Live. <laughs> Between you and these chat Here dorks. come the excuses. Here we go. Bro. Go ahead. With the exception of 2015, when NXT was on fire, you realize that Ghetto was voted best booker for eight straight years. You bet. Then we have yeah. a pandemic, and now he needs to be replaced. Whoa. Because there's too out, much there bullet is. club crap. Time out. Hold on You now. said he should be replaced. I I just brought up the idea of regime change, and now yeah. may be a, as good of a time as any to do something like that. While things are not awful, you haven't sunk down into the mud or anything like that, relying on stardom for all your bushy road income now. I'm not, you know, come on. But, like, <laughs> you know, people were calling for this a long time ago. People have been calling for this. And I'm, like I said, I was not in a rush to get him out the door, but since the pandemic began and I've seen some of those things that have been done in a very stark, <laughs> you know, in stark buildings where you don't get the applause and you, things stand out a lot more now might be as good of a time as any to do something like that. And I understand what you're saying as far as letting him have Jay White back and letting him have a lot of those things. But there is a fear, like I mentioned during the break, of that House of Torture Bullet Club split where it's just going to be, again, we'll have to Everybody see what Everybody has here. a bad idea here and there. They absolutely There's do. There's plenty of bad ideas. There sure are. But I'm but not replacing what? this but poor you know guy what? who's suffering in the middle of this pandemic doing the best he can with nothing. Oh, my. Nothing. Uh, listen to you. Listen to you. It's not nothing. Bro. Wow. As if nobody else out there has got any ideas. Remember? Bro, you're when all... They, when, uh, let me say one thing. Do you remember when Gato went in? Because you don't. But do you remember when Gato took over as the foreman of New Japan? And how people thought that it was not going to be a great yeah, idea. But you know how what? there was a great list. idea. And it was a great idea. So yeah. you know what? Sometimes you can make moves and make things better. Yeah, you know what's going to happen, everybody? What's going to happen is they're going to replace Ghetto with Evil. And then you're all going to cry about it. And I'm just going to sit what, here smugly gonna going, booker? I tried to tell you. Evil's going to be the booker? I tried to tell you guys. What about Shibata? Shibata ain't going to be the booker. What about Filthy Tom Lawler as the booker? Do you realize what Ghetto was before he became the booker? He was not an all-time top star legend. He was like the only guy that wanted to do it. I like, I like how like you can't make an improvement. Like Bill Watts was a great booker for a long time and then realized, oh, uh -oh. I got a great idea. Let's find a, let's find a guy who won Dundee. best booker eight years in a row and replace him. That's a great idea going into 2022. Brian, Holy you, smokes. You're, taking so, you're, so, you're so lame, and your arguments are so weak and full of holes. Go no, ahead. they're not. Let's just move on. I'll move on. I'll move on to the main event <laughs> it's so tonight. Weak. But it's so... not weak. He wanted him yes, replaced in the middle of a pandemic after he won Best Booker eight years in a row. I'm not making any of that up. Okay. We'll find out who wins Best Booker this year, but I already know who it is. It's Tony Khan. No kidding. Maybe we can replace him next year. Oh, Brian. Lenny, you pathetic. know what? It's time for an AEW so regime weak. change. Why am I? Where's Filthy? Why am I wasting my time? Filthy's busy watching the Shibata match. Jesus. Wondering why, ten times wondering why this Ren Narita tried to kill him, but then was totally subservient <sighs> to this other guy. I like this. Mike and Brian both being You should have gone out there Come and tried on. to take him. Look at this guy. Seattle, the home of obtuse. It is Wrestling Observer Live today. I'm Oreo the Orca. Do you have a blowhole rating system? Like, if you're really excited about a match, it gives you yeah, this, six squirts? Yeah, this match was was uh, two and three-quarter holes, if you must know. So I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? 
Yes, can you hear that housing? Hey, look at that, holy hey. mother of God, look what we've done here. You broke a leg, is that true? Uh, it was broken in half, snapped in two. The doctor said it was a tibia and a fibia. Uh, I'm a whale and not a doctor, but is it not a fibula and not a fibia? A fibula? What I know. Perhaps what? the doctor lied to Dan Housen. You know, Dan Housen, if you were a whale, you wouldn't have broken your leg. This is true because whales don't have legs. What did you grow up watching as a little evil man? Kane ripping off the door when he debuted. Yes. How old were you, Dan Housen, when that match took place? Oh, about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh. Also, one time Dan Housen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm, and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Housen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.